everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare shrimp patties. Before we get started with the recipe, I'm going to show you all the ingredients we need for the preparation of the patties. This way you can gather up your ingredients and we can prepare it together. Let's get started. Before we get started preparing the patties, we're going to boil 4 Roma tomatoes and about 6 to 8 chiles de arbol. The chiles de arbol are completely optional. You can leave them out or you can substitute them for serranos or jalapeños. We're going to boil for about 3 to 4 minutes or until the tomatoes begin to peel like this. At this point, we're going to turn off the burner and we're going to cover it for about 15 to 20 minutes. To prepare the patties, we're going to clean 1 pound of shrimp. We're going to remove the vines from both sides of the shrimp and then we're gonna chop it into tiny pieces. This way the shrimp will fully cook when frying the patties. Once I'm done chopping the shrimp, I'm gonna place it in a strainer so the excess water can drain out. Next, we're gonna separate the egg whites from four large eggs. I'm gonna use this small kitchen tool, but you can use whichever way you feel more comfortable separating the egg whites. If you know any tricks on how to separate the egg whites without using a kitchen tool, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I don't use any kitchen tools and just use my hand, but make sure your hands are very clean before doing so. Before we begin to beat the egg whites, I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This is going to give the egg whites more structure and is going to keep it from breaking down once we add the rest of the ingredients. Beat on high speed for about one to two minutes. The best way to know if your egg whites are done is by slightly tipping the bowl. If they begin to slide out, continue mixing until they no longer fall out of the bowl. Next, we're gonna add in the egg yolks, a third of a cup of dry grounded shrimp. This one you can find in the spices aisle or any Mexican grocery store. You can add more if you like, but I'm only gonna use a fourth of a cup because this tends to be a little bit salty. And if you add too much, it can make your patties taste too salty. And to give our egg mixture even more structure, a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. Mix these ingredients on low speed for a few seconds until everything is well combined. Then we're going to fold in half a cup of chopped green onions and the shrimp. Before adding the shrimp, make sure it's completely dry. If it's not completely dry, pat it down with a clean paper towel before adding it to the egg mixture. I'm going to mix these ingredients and then we're going to begin to fry the patties. In a large pan, heat up a generous amount of your preferred cooking oil. Before spooning in the egg mixture, make sure your oil is nice and hot. The best way to check to see if your oil is ready is by inserting a wooden spoon. If the oil bubbles around the edge of the spoon, that means your oil is ready. And you can begin to spoon in the egg mixture. You can make your patties as big or as small as you like. I like to keep them a little bit on the small size because it's much easier to flip. As the patties fry, splash the top of the patty with oil. This way the top of the patty can begin to cook and it will not break when flipping it over. Once they start to turn a golden color around the edges, using two spoons, flip the patty over and fry for an additional minute. The amount of time you fried the patty can vary depending on how hot your oil is. You don't want to have the heat setting set too high, otherwise your patties can burn. I have mine set between a medium to a low heat. With the amount of ingredients we used, we made a total of 15 patties, measuring about 3 inches in diameter. When removing the patties, place them on a plate lined with a clean paper towel to soak off some of the excess oil. To prepare the sauce, I'm going to remove the skin from the tomatoes before blending them. This way we don't have to strain the sauce. We're also going to add in the chiles de arbol, and to help blend the ingredients, we're going to use 3 cups of vegetable broth. I reserved a little bit of the oil that we used to fry the patties in. We're going to take advantage of those flavors rendered in that oil to saute the onion and the garlic. We're going to add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of the oil to the pan and then we're going to lightly fry the onion and the garlic for about a minute. Then we're going to add it to the blender along with the rest of the seasonings. For seasonings, I'm going to use 1 tablespoon of tomato bouillon, half a teaspoon of oregano, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin. 
I'm gonna blend these ingredients until smooth and then I'm gonna pour it into the same pan that we used to saute the onion and the garlic. We're gonna bring to a simmer over medium high heat. Once it reaches a simmer, taste it and add additional salt or tomato bouillon as needed. This recipe, I typically prepare it with nopales, but this year I wanted to prepare it a little bit different and use zucchini instead. After the sauce was simmering for about five minutes, I added two large zucchinis cut into strips. Simmer for an additional five minutes or until the zucchinis are lightly tender. Once your zucchinis are nice and tender, at this point you can also add the patties into the sauce. I personally prefer to plate them over a bed of the sauce and then topping it off with more sauce. This way the patties don't get too soggy before serving. I hope you give this recipe a try this Lenten season because it was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to join us in our next video where we will be sharing another delicious recipe.